Hey guys, the objective of this video is to distribute the torsion into the structure. So in the previous video, we worked out the maximum torsion. We saw that the torsion was 3,340 kilonewton meters. It's now time to put that torsion into the structure and see which um, elements and members take it. So what we're going to do is it's very similar to how the shear is distributed. So we saw in the previous videos, we distributed shears into the beams and the columns. So you can see I've done the exact same thing here, except now the beams which are acting are going to be different. So if we're going to twist the structure, we're going to twist it, which is what a torsion is. You can see that all the outer beams here, which I've marked in red, they're going to resist this twisting. And these inner beams here in blue are also going to resist this twisting. All right. So you can see that this beam there, for example, is not going to do anything. It's only these outer beams which are actually going to resist the twisting. So I hope that makes some, concept some conceptual sense to you guys. You can see it's these beams here and these beams here. Think of it as sort of following the circle. Okay, following the circle, which is the torsion. Okay, so they have the outer ones there and the inner ones there. Now, just like the shear, how we distribute it into the structure, we need to look at the relative stiffness of the beams. Okay, so we're going to have the force in the beam, just which is equal, gonna, it's going to equal the reference length on the beam length times by V the shear. So, for example, if we're looking at an 8 meter beam, and we're sorry, we're going to define our reference length as 8 meters, just like we did with the shear. So, beam length being 8 meters. We're going to do reference length on beam length. So the reference length is 8 divided by the beam length, which is also 8. Um, times by V, we just get V. Uh, for the 10 meter beam, so this beam here, we're going to have 8, which is the reference length, divided by 10, which is the beam length. Um, multiplied by V gives us 0.8 V. And the last one we have is this beam over there. That's 11.3 meters. So 8 on 11.3 times by V gives us 0.71 V. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a picture just to show all of those things. So we're going to replace all the dimensions with the relative stiffness. So for example, 8 we said was V. So that's V. 